It is a cool autumn Saturday afternoon. Students and Blazer fans from all around funnel into Baysmore Hyder Stadium and rush up into the stands with their friends and family, all clamoring for the best seats available. The football team comes running out of the tunnel. The crowd lets out a deafening roar of support. The game comes and goes, the energy never once fading down. At least, that's how game day should be. What most VSU students have come to expect from their sporting events is more like this. Where is everyone? Why are people not more excited to be watching a team that has won multiple national championships? Do people not care to support their school? What is the culprit behind the lack of school spirit at VSU? Before we could fully dive into and examine this issue, the first thing that is needed to be clearly understood is this. Just what exactly is school spirit? How is it measured? School spirit to me is supporting and representing your school, whether that be like going to the games or like um, going to places on behalf of your school, things like that. Uh, school spirit is supporting your school and your team and your athletics and uh, all aspects that you're able to do and being proud to be a Blazer. School spirit to me is the attitude that students have towards their school. Um, and we, what the attitude is, and if we have positive attitudes towards the school, students are willing to work harder, whether that's academically or athletically. Um, it's excitement. To me, school spirit is going out and supporting your Blazers in every event possible and hoping that they win. Um, school spirit is attending events like homecoming week, um, all of the athletic events, and um, just whatever's going on on campus. School spirit to me is having pride for being a VSU student. Um, you can do that in multiple ways, whether it's being in organizations and being involved, or if it's going to the football games and basketball games, or like any sport in general, or just wearing VSU colors and wearing um, like shirts that represent VSU, or honestly just being a good citizen in regards to like Valdosta State, just being proud of being here. School spirit is not simply measured in how many sporting events you attend or how loud you are while you're there, but that certainly helps make a point. No, school spirit is more abstract and less concrete than that. However, this lack of true constraint around school spirit can be a good thing in that it allows for more ways for it to be expressed. Though it may not necessarily gain you any cool points on campus or make you easily recognizable to people, the classroom is one place where school spirit can truly shine. A study by the National Federation of State High School Association shows that there is, in fact, a positive correlation with school spirit and being a top achiever in the classroom. One student that exemplifies this at Valdosta State is Jamie Ford, a junior history major, as well as a VSU cross-country team captain. Yes, I think you can show school spirit through your academics. Just getting the best grades I can and being the best student I can on behalf of my school and representing my school that way. Obstacles that keep people from succeeding academically would be not prioritizing their time correctly or just having too much on their plate. I think peer groups will play a big role in uh, people succeeding academically because it's your friends that influence you to do the things you do. Although all VSU students have a chance to show school spirit by succeeding academically, we have to keep in mind the fact that not every VSU student lives on campus or even gets their education on campus. After surveying over 100 students who live off campus, we found that the average student lives approximately seven miles away from campus. While that doesn't sound that far in the grand scheme of things, that commute could turn out to be just enough of a nuisance to have an impact on students' involvement around campus and thus their school spirit as well. When comparing students that live on campus to students that live off campus, we can see a sharp contrast in campus involvement. This may be due to factors like time, money, or even just the will to leave the house again after going home for the day. Off-campus resident Daniel Swilly shares his thoughts on why living off campus makes it difficult for him to be as involved on campus as he would like to be. I live about 15, 20 minutes uh, from campus, which would be about seven or eight miles if I go to speed limit. It impacts my involvement in school. Sometimes it, uh, if there's an event or a meeting or some kind of uh, club going on during school hours obviously I can't make it because I'm either at class or I'm going home to study do homework uh, etc so if it's after school hours it's a little bit easier for me to get there 
I find it harder to show school spirit uh, sometimes, especially when, um, like I said, if there's a volleyball game or if there's a basketball game, which I love going to those, but if I have a lot of homework to get done, I can't go to Odom, Odom Library and get it done in 20 minutes and then walk half a mile to the complex to watch the game. I have to come all the way back here, which is 20 minutes away, do my homework and then use all that gas to get back to the complex and then drive back to my house again. Students' opportunity to show their school spirit also takes a hit when time management and scheduling conflicts come into play. Roughly 50% of students at Valdosta State work jobs on top of taking a full load of classes. Students say this also takes a toll on campus involvement. Uh, my name is Olivia Rosner. I am a sophomore at BSU and I'm an RA on campus. I work 10 hours a week as an RA. We're not allowed to work anymore and we're not allowed to work any less. So it has to be 10. Sometimes um, the hours that I work do get in, in the way of campus events. It kind of depends on what I'm doing. Um, it gets in the way in the fact that sometimes there's things that I can't get to um, because I do have such a busy schedule. But at the same time, part of being an RA is taking students to events. So in some situations, it may make it harder to get to some events, but in other ways, it also helps but I usually have to pick events that my residents are interested in going to, which can be fun and awesome, but at the same time, it might get in the way of something that I wanna be a part of or something that I wanna to go to or that's something that I think is cool just because I have to shape it or form it around my job. I think sometimes my schedule for my job can have an impact on my school spirit just because there aren't as many organizations that I can go to or as many events that I necessarily want to go to, but at the same time, working on campus and working in a residence hall, I guess, builds my like school spirit because we're supposed to be proud of where we live and what we represent. However, there are students that have managed to find a balance between work, school, and still showing school spirit. Junior Amia Thompson is currently taking a full load of classes and has still found time to campaign around campus for her nomination onto the homecoming court, all while serving as vice president of the Student Government Association. My name is Amia Thompson. I am a communication major and also have a minor in marketing. I am a junior here at Boston State and my position is student government vice president. I totally think my school spirit is very going to run for, for SGA. Um, I don't, so why would you would want to be in this position if you didn't have spirit for this school? Um, and get pumped and be able to say, go Blazers, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think if you're going to be involved in campus, you're going to have to have some school spirit. Because whether whatever position or organization that you're in, you're going to have to, I mean, you can be a part of something, but you're not going to enjoy it. I think that's one thing about school spirit is because when you're in these positions, if you're, if you're just going about it about the every day and not really enjoying what you're doing, then you're, you're not having school spirit. So along that way, you develop, you develop a school, I feel like you develop school spirit through that. Um, I think that you just really have to look at it as, you know, college is a once in a lifetime thing and that you have to be willing to be busy to just experience the amount of things, whether that's working and class and also being involved in your organizations and just embracing it because like I said, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Why not enjoy the four years you have here or more if you're five years <laughs> um, and take on that because once it's passed, you're gonna be adults and then you're like, oh, I wish I would have done more in college. I wish I would have done that. So why not do it right now? I know it seems busy and we can caught up, but I, I'm, I think just because the person I am, I like to stay busy and I like to stay doing things. Um, and I, why not? Because I love this university. Um, I've grown so much here and I can't wait to see where I'm going to go. While those that have jobs are typically older students who feel worn down by the multiple semesters spent in college, we can contrast that with the wide-eyed freshmen that come in every year, all with different expectations of what the college experience has in store for them. I thought it'd be like all those cliche movies where everyone's all painted up and like it's cliche movies, which I mean it's not always wrong, but it's a little bit less than that. In college, I observed school spirit to actually be like, it's kind of like chill, but people get hype, of course, when people score, people make a touchdown and stuff like that. But all those pep rallies and stuff, and there's just dancers and all that. 
all those like small competitions, there's always a lot of supporters. All the ball. But it's not always crazy. When freshmen first come to VSU, Bowman hoped that they would try to get involved on campus and show school spirit as best as they can. One of the key elements to aiding them in that area is being able to find a support group of sorts. Studies show that people are more likely to go to social events when accompanied by their peers. So it would stand to reason that finding a group of friends at your college certainly improves the likelihood of being involved on campus. Um, I found my peer group, you know, at VSU. Basically, I just went out, interacted with a whole bunch of kids. I just wanted to get involved as much as possible, and I just talked to a lot of people, tried to converse with people, like all different types of like characteristics and all. And that's pretty much how I found like my study groups, etc. And you know, I just wanted to get involved, not be singled out or anything like that. Having a peer group, you know, it really impacts you, both mentally and physically. Like. You feel more involved, you don't feel isolated, and like when you need someone to rely on, you know, you can ask your peer groups for assistance. You know, academically wise too, it's more sh like that way, keep things more organized, and just as a person overall, you feel better about your life and everything. My name is Joshua Hall, and I'm a senior at Valdosta State. So my freshman year, I actually did not really have much of a peer group. Um, it was kind of an isolated time for me. I pretty much just kind of did everything on my own. Uh, it wasn't that I didn't necessarily want to be a part of any groups. It was mostly just due to the fact that I really didn't know uh, how to get involved. And I, I, at, the, at that time, I was it was kind of a vicious cycle because you know you get so used to being in isolation that you don't necessarily see how necessary it is for you to have. Uh, a peer group like the ones that uh, these younger guys nowadays have because uh, you know these you look at these freshmen nowadays and you see them all kind of bunch up together uh, just walking around campus all together like their own little gang or something uh, it's, it's kind of funny to see that they're all really involved on campus and uh, it, it definitely shows uh, I mean you know you see them at football games you see them at soccer games uh, all around campus, even things that don't have to do with athletics, like they're, they're going to the library together and studying together. Uh, if they need rides somewhere off campus, they're always carpooling together. Um, it's the camaraderie that you can see in the freshmen nowadays, thanks to their peer groups. Um, it, it really does show. So back in my day, as far as the terms of school spirit goes, it wasn't necessarily that I that it wasn't there, but it was hard for me to see it from my point of view because I wasn't with other people. I didn't have a way to really, uh, I really didn't have an outlet to express that. Especially compared to now, it was just so dead. Um, I mean, people were just sitting around uh, on their phones, kind of talking to each other, kind of watching the game going in and out. No one was really focused on what actually made VSU a good school. You know, there's, oh, we're, well, it's a D2 school, you know, I'm just going to use this as a stepping stone to go somewhere else later on. I mean, that's, it's fine if that's what you're going to do, but you can't really have that mindset and expect to take advantage of all the VSU has to offer. That's, that's not school spirit. That's the exact opposite. That's, that's complacency. You can't have school spirit and be complacent at the same time. You, you always have to uh, be striving for that next step to actually take pride in where you are and who you are and where you're at. And, you know, that, that all goes back to... Uh, these freshmen nowadays that, that they really do take pride in the fact that they're here. They love VSU. They love each other, and it's uh, it, it shows their, their school spirit is off the charts. <laughs> Involvement in peer groups certainly has an impact in the ability and likelihood on students to show school spirit. However, another issue with the school spirit at VSU is that school spirit does not always spread evenly across the board. Take one of the more obvious outlets of school spirit: athletics. VSU has one of the more successful football programs in Division II, so it would stand to reason that they would garner a decent amount of support from the student body. However, even with an enrollment number around 11,000, football attendance numbers typically only hover around 4,200 people in attendance at each home game, with only roughly 70% of that number consisting of actual VSU students. If you think that seems like a low turnout rate for arguably the most popular sport at VSU, you would be correct. Unfortunately, it doesn't get better from that. Other sports like soccer and volleyball have an even lower attendance rate than that, and the numbers aren't even close. Both VSU soccer and volleyball teams boast an attendance number of roughly 200 people, 
a mere 0.2% of VSU student body. How is this possible? Soccer player Jamie Metters gives her thoughts on the matter. VSU students could show um, more school spirit at athletic events because um, I can say that because I play soccer and I mean there's a lot lower of an attendance at the soccer games than there is at like the football games. Yes, I think there's an uneven level of support um, like attending like the football games or the basketball games. Um, those, the environment's much different than there is at the soccer games. There's a lot more people and a lot more people are um, dressed up or they're a lot more hyped than they are at the soccer games. I think that the turnout for some sports is lower because uh, some sports aren't as popular at this school. But I mean, some of our turnouts have been, I mean, it's, it seems like a big deal to us. Like if a lot of our, like more than half of our bleachers are full, <laughs> it seems like a big deal to us because um, the sport isn't that popular in South, in South Georgia, especially. Um, it's getting popular, but like our main sport in school is um, football and like basketball and even other sports like cross country or I'd say even softball, they don't give as much recognition. You know how many people are at VSU? How many? Over 11,000. Oh. You know how many people serve the football games? How many? About 4,000. What about, so like soccer games, like? Soccer games, you guys, you guys average attendance is about 200, 250 people max. I'm pissed. I think that the school could change the problem with the low turnouts of some sports because um, like on the school website, the, for the first picture that you see is a football player. Um, I think that if other sports got more recognition, that maybe more students would attend their games or events. With all these issues revolving around students at VSU showing school spirit, whether they're unable to or they choose just not to, is there any plan in place that can help increase school spirit at VSU? The answer, thankfully, is yes. In the fall of 2017, some VSU students truly took this issue to heart, so was founded the Fire Pit. Um, I'm Alex White, and I am a junior here at VSU, and my job as part of Fire Pit is the social media side of it. So I send everybody emails and um, post on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of it. Um, the main goals of the Fire Pit are really just to get the students like fired up to be at the games, um, come out and support the athletic teams, and really build the school spirit that we have here at VSU. I can say, well, I wasn't here um, until 2016. So that was the year that we started, but um, some of our members were here and were freshmen in 2014, 2015, and they said, oh my God, it's so different. Like people come to games, people paint up, people paint their faces, everyone screams and yells. So I think so far we're going towards the direction that we've been shooting for. Basketball season is insane. I've never seen a group of people get so hyped up about being in a basketball game ever in my life. And then at the football games, the student attendance now is so much bigger than it was my freshman year at every single game. So it's been it's been great. Um, now we have like a production side of it, kind of like um, a D1 school would have. So hopefully we'll be able to grow those productions and um, just really get more involved on the community side of it, um, aside from being on campus. Because like this year, for the first time during homecoming, we went out and painted the windows of the businesses. So in downtown Valdosta, if you drove by, you saw like on the windows that it was homecoming and go Blazers and all of that. So I love to see more students painted up. Um, I love to see us do more themed games where the students come dress kind of how we do during basketball season, but do it at football season. And I really just love to see every student that goes to VSU honestly at a football game, at a basketball game, cheering on the Blazers. Though there appear to be many inhibitors to school spirit, there are an equal amount of solutions to them. What school spirit comes down to is how frequently students support their school and apply themselves to as many things around campus as possible. The university is only as proud as an establishment as the students are proud of it. Without constant support and involvement, there is not a single establishment in the world that can survive. It is up to you, the student, to imbue VSU with the pride it deserves. Whether you show school spirit by succeeding in the classroom, joining organizations around campus, attending as many sporting events as possible, even just being a smiling face to a stranger you pass in the union, everyone has opportunities to express themselves and represent the university. How will you ignite the campus? Go Blazers.